This video shows you how you would remove the vanos when you don't need to remove the diaphragm springs. If you want to replace the diaphragm springs as well, you should use a different procedure. Click on the link to see how. To gain access to the camshafts, you need to remove the covers on top of the engine and the coil packs. And you also need to remove the fan and the fan cowling. Rotate the engine to top dead centre and lock it using the crankshaft locking pin. Remove the little cover at the front of the vanos and unplug the solenoid cables. Disconnect the oil feed pipe and fit the adapter. The thread on the adapter is metric fine 12 with a 1mm pitch. Fully retard the camshafts as shown in the following video. Attach the airline onto the adapter. Pressurise the vanos and retard the camshafts. Zoom let and that's the exhaust. Remove the chain guard. Remove all the vanos bolts, making a note of the longest bolts. The longest bolt is the one on the top left. There's also an earth cable attached to the bolts shown circled. You'll only be able to pull the vanos forward a little bit, but that should be enough to allow you to remove the bridge. Push the vanos back into position and re-secure it using the bolts shown circled. Loosen the hub screws as shown in the video. Be careful, do not remove these screws. You need to make sure that you've got access to the two bolts at the back of the exhaust sprocket. Remove the crankshaft locking pin. Loosen the two bolts on the inlet sprocket by one full turn. Just loosen them, don't take them out. And similarly, loosen the two accessible bolts on the back of the exhaust sprocket. Again, by one full turn. Turn the crankshaft to 240 degrees. This will give accessibility to the next two bolts. Again, loosen the two accessible bolts by one full turn. Turn the crankshaft to 120 degrees, which means you'll have turned the crankshaft by 480 degrees. And you'll now have access to the last two bolts, which again, you loosen by one full turn. Rotate the engine back to top dead centre and engage the crankshaft locking pin. Remove the two securing bolts from the vanos and you can finally remove the vanos, noting that as you do so, the spline gears on the vanos will cause the hubs to turn. But because they've been loosened from the sprockets, you're not trying to turn the cams at the same time. Click on the link to see how to overhaul the vanos.